Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. This week on Debris Day, it's going to be a two or three part of video, um, and it's all about bringing together technologies of um, the solar panel, the uh, lithium ion recovery. Today is going to be a video um, unboxing my uh, new soldering iron, and then I'm going to pull these all together and explain what we're going to be doing. Let's go, guys. So guys, trying to think about how my YouTube channel is going and the way I like to work, and I want to explain this to you guys, is that I like to do lots of smaller projects and then all of those projects come together to actually make something at the end. So as an example, we've done some uh, forging, we've purchased a forge, we've purchased an anvil, we started learning some blacksmithing, we work on Moku Gamey, um, all of these things will eventually come together. This week I want to talk about what we're doing with the solar power, um, setting up solar panel for your shed, and I'll, I'll do a link up here to that video. Recovering the lithium ion batteries, which is another video that we've done. Um, charging those batteries, making sure they're all prepared. Um, today we're going to do a soldering iron unpacking video because I need a soldering iron. But let me just show you what my thought processes are at the moment, how we're going to bring this all together. Okay, so here we are on my blank sheet of paper, my thought processes. So this is debris, thought processes. So, I'm gonna slide this paper over here. The first thing we've got, we've got the solar panel. And if you remember, off of that solar panel, off of that solar panel, we've got an MPPT controller. And off of that, we have a standard car, or a leisure battery, haven't we? And that seems to work well. Today, I checked on this, uh, this solar power panel and it was doing 50 watts. Ooh, that's not bad. It's a 100 watt panel, so eventually that'll get, uh, get a bit, bit bigger. So that's the first thing we did. The second video we did uh, shortly after that was about lithium ion recovery. So if you can remember, um, lithium ion recovery. Um, what we did, we took a load of laptop uh, batteries, we broke them apart, and we got some 18650 cells. Now, some of those were used, some of them weren't used, and then we charged some of them up, and we can then utilize those. Now, remember, that was with the uh, Lito Carla charger. So this, is, this was the battery recovery. This was the setup. This was the battery recovery. Um, what we're going to do today, we're going to unpack the digital uh, soldering iron. And you'll see why in a second. We basically need a soldering iron to do some work. See, this is my picture of a soldering iron. It's not very good, but it's a picture of a soldering iron. And this is a solder. So, bring this all together. What does it mean we can build? Well, there's a guy on the internet called Jehu Garcia. Let me put him down here. Oh, that helps if I can spell his name correctly. Now, Jehu Garcia is one of the leading guys on the internet who is playing about with all of these cells and who made a uh, Tesla-like VW van. So he recovered all of his cells. He then um, created uh, a, a, a pack of batteries. And then he put all of these batteries into his VW camper and made it electrified. Well, he's recently... Um, produce some PCBs. Now these PCBs allow us to connect into these PCBs our cells which we have recovered. My thoughts are if we use a BMS, not BSM, that's a driving school, BMS, um, battery management system, connect these things up together. So this actually controls, um, as I understand it anyway, the volts shared across the cells. Um, link these two together, then link it to my MPPT controller, remove the connection to the old lead uh, acid battery, and then hook up onto these cells, my inverter, inverter, I should be able to use a lithium ion solar power charger and then charge up those battery cells, the 18650 cells, and then use those to power some things in the shed or man cave. 
If I get enough of those cells, I should be able to make a one kilowatt plus battery pack. So let me just summarize that again, guys. So we have the solar controller, we have the MPP controller, we have the leisure batteries, we have the solar panel. We have over here, we have lithium ion recovery for the cells. We're gonna do the digital soldering iron today. Jehu Garcia created these PCBs, which I've ordered and I've actually received. So that'll be next week's video. We'll solder all of these things together and it will connect it back up to the solar power, so to the solar panel. And then we're gonna try and First of all, measure how much power we've got out of those cells that we recovered. And secondly, we're going to rig it into the shed. So I hope that makes sense. So that's what we're going to be doing. So if you keep watching the channel, that's what you'll see over the next coming weeks. So without further ado, let's get on with unpacking that digital soldering iron. Let's go. Here we are, guys. This is the Parkside Digital Solder Line PLSD48A1, and I probably about 30 quid for this. Um, the reason I like it so far is that it's 48 watt, it's got a really thin tip, uh, it's got some cleaning uh, pads here, and a place to put your solder iron, and an area to put your actual solder. So let's crack this box open, let's see what's in it. By the way, who wants a mint? I love mints. Opening up the box. Inside this wonderful box, we'll take everything out, I think, and then we'll go through the components. So, initial thoughts, have a look. We have a couple of pieces of solder. We have a couple of soldering tips. Uh, I'll just put one of those, uh, one of those already in. We've got a little soldering pad that can go in there. Um, we have clearly the soldering iron. Let me just undo this connection here. So we have a soldering iron, Parkside soldering iron, with a pretty decent tip. That looks pretty good to me. That can go in there. That holds there. Two pieces of solder. We have a thick and a thin piece of solder. They're little reels. Um, I guess the tips go in that top part. Yeah, is that where they go? What it looks like. And we have some destructions. Okay, we've got it plugged in. Let's power this big boy up. Turn it on. As you can see, it's presumably the temperature of the tip that we're using on that soldering iron. So we'll look, so this is the temperature that we can set for the soldering iron. I have no idea what temperature it should, should be. Well, this needly takes you to 200, 300 or 400. You can up and down the uh, temperature gauge there. Um, that set it for 300. And I believe, there we go, it's now showing you the temperature of the soldering iron. So presumably that's going to get hotter and hotter. 700 degrees C, 83, yeah, there we go. It's now rising. So it's obviously now getting hotter and hotter. That soldering tip's now going to get hotter and hotter. We'll do a quick test. We'll um, try heating up a little bit of solder for you to zoom out. So this is some of the solder that comes with the unit. 200 degrees, I've got no idea. I've, I've never really done soldering. Um, let's see if it, oh, no, 200 degrees, 160 degrees. That's quite thick solder actually. Let's try the thinner one. Uh, any indication of the temperature? No. No, at 300 degrees. You can smell it. You can smell it. Let's try a little bit of this. There we go. And it's now melting. Just pop that on there. 
So guys, that's it really. There's not much to this. Um, the PLST48A1 soldering iron. It works, as you saw. You get uh, a couple of pieces of solder with it. Um, you get the soldering iron. And we're going to use this for our next video, which is, I'll give you a little preview. We have bought some lovely boards for BMSs and some lovely boards for connecting, we've got to solder onto these um, and to rig these boards up for our lithium ion battery. As you can see, they're designed by Jehu Garcia. Can you see that? So that's the next video, guys. So that's it for this week, just a little tiny video, just on uh, uh, what we're gonna be doing for the next couple of weeks and also to show you the soldering iron. Next week's gonna be actually soldering up those boards. The week after bringing all of this thought processes together to link up our new 18650 cells and put them into our solar power setup um, and then make sure that we can run the inverter off of that. That's probably gonna be a 24 volt rather than 12 volt um, battery pack, but uh, keep with me and uh, we'll show you that. You can upgrade, upgrade your solar power setup to lithium ion. Um, we've got some other projects that I'm, I'm thinking about as well that we can use those power packs for, but uh, I don't want to spoil the, uh, the fun too much. But as you can see, my thoughts on my channel are that we're going to do little projects, mini projects, and bring all those projects together to produce something at the end. That's where we're going to go with the channel. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. 900 subs. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you next week on Debris Day. Cheers, guys. Bye.